Hello again, it's me. Um, Ron from the Fringe Church, pastor, reverend, the naughty reverend, whatever you want. But anyway, um, call me whatever. I've been called worse, that's for sure. But uh, you've clicked on the link to come through because you wanted to know a little bit more about our work and involvement in the community um, and why we do it and what we do. So once a month, we shut our church down and we go out into the community to help others. The reason being is because serving others and loving others and, and, and getting outside of yourself is something about Christianity. One of the big things of Christianity is you are not the center of the universe. It's about loving, sharing, and serving others. So we're so serious about this that it's not just a bolt-on that we shut our church down once a month and we go out as a team and we help someone in need. So we've done this for, uh, I don't know, a bit over a year now and it's been really successful and it's been great. And so we go out and we do things like gardening for someone who's sick or, or someone who's elderly who needs some odd jobs done around the house or something. Someone who's struggling or, or, or finding it difficult. We love to come around in the, the Red Cliff or Morton Bay sort of area or, or whatever um, and help them out. And so it means so much for our guys who, who've come from the wrong side of the tracks or had a bit rough to be invited in to, to, to do some help to work and uh, um, show love and appreciation for the community. Um, and it also builds this connection between the Fringe Church and the community. We, we find that um, we have a very good reputation out in the community that, that people seem to love the Fringe Church. We get away with talking to a lot more secular people and things because of this. Because when we do it, we do, we do not push Christianity on it. We're, we're not about... Um, pushing religion or making conversions we just want to love and help people in the community and in doing this particularly for some of the guys who've been through some stuff can get stuck into this mentality of themselves of of poor me of it's all about me of of this it breaks it apart and gets them to engage with others and it doesn't really matter about the work they do so some of the guys come along um, I myself struggle with the physicality of a lot of it because of a lot of health issues and stuff but I love to come along to be part of that community, to talk to the people, to be that bridge between the people who we're helping and the church, um, to let them know that we're not some scary, weird cult, that we're just a bundle of buff heads, really, who are happy to love and help other people. Because if that's not what Christianity is about, what is it about? You know, we are to show the love of Christ, to be examples of him in this world. It doesn't always mean we're preaching, but we've got to walk the walk as well. We've got to be people in the community where, where they look at us and go, there's something different about those guys. I want to know more of what's going on. And through this, yes, we, we can achieve church growth, but that's not predominantly what we do it for. It really is to get people out, stop being so self-centered and thinking of themselves, and the incredible healing, uh, peace, and things which come from helping others. I know myself, when I've been going through rough times, when I, when I help others, it not only puts my life and my problems into perspective, but it also helps me work through them, through helping others. So if I dwell on my problems all the time, they seem insurmountable. But the moment I get out there and start loving and helping others, they seem to fall away. So this is why we do our community work. And, and look, everyone's involved. If you find someone who needs help or something, by all means, please let us know. We love to help even other churches and stuff with, with service or whatever. We don't care. Nothing we do is about fringe church so much, but just about the kingdom of God and showing love into the community. So if we can help you or you know someone who can help or you'd like to help us help other people, you'd be more than welcome to come along and join us. Um, usually the last Sunday of the month where we go out there and we do something to give back to community, to give back to the world, to show the love of Christ in action in other people's lives. So um, if you want to know more, 
please, again, contact us. Leave stuff in the message. Uh, you know, we're on at thefringechurch.com. If you want to send me an email, you can go to our website, thefringechurch.com, our YouTube page, whatever you want. But there's, there's numerous ways to contact us, to, to get involved, or just come along, you know, on a Sunday afternoon, see what it's all about. So 3 o'clock, 3 p.m., we start off with a check-in where we sit around and talk to each other and check in about how our week's going the good things, the bad things, where God's been in our lives, pray for each other. And then five o'clock, we have um, a service, <laughs> say a service of some kind. It changes around a bit. Um, quite often myself or one of the guys will, will give a sermon, but the sermons look very different. They're not um, me just preaching at you. It is more involved with uh, the guys asking questions or or telling stories or experiences of their own which relate and uh, the sermon changes you know I write a sermon like I'd present it in a, a more normal church uh, I think I usually only ever get a tiny bit through it and then it's kind of went down rabbit holes wherever people need to go um, and then we try and bring it back to where we were at the beginning uh, but everything points to Christ just as it should but um, look bless you guys Love to hear from you more. Love to hear your experiences and what your thoughts are. Love for you to join us. Uh, so hope we can catch up soon. And uh, by all means, subscribe to the newsletters. Get other people to subscribe who might be interested. We'd love to tell people about what's going on with the Fringe Church. We'll talk again.